At some point in your studies, you're going to come across these terms, um, paramagnetism, diamagnetism, and ferromagnetism, and the concept of magnetization. We can put this in slightly simpler terms. Let's say this piece of metal right here um, is an alloy. I can't tell you exactly what alloy it is. I don't know, but um, I know that it retains magnetism, that it experiences when placed in an external magnetic field. I think we refer to this big solenoid that's plugged into AC as a, a Thomson's coil. If I throw the switch, you hear that familiar 60 hertz buzz that describes the way in which the current is reversing in this coil. And that means the coil acts like electromagnet whose field sometimes points up, sometimes points down, sometimes points up. And anyway, it's a rather strong external alternating magnetic field. The atoms that make up the metal in this alloy, um, they can be induced so that the magnetic domains, the little cluster, the region, the small clusters of nearby atoms will have a sort of agreement in the direction of their magnetic dipole moments. Um, Let's find out if this thing has any retained magnetism. I have a bunch of paper clips and no. This magnet's been wiped out. This really is just a chunk of metal. It has an N and an S on it, but don't let that fool you. I think this is just a, I think it's just a piece of metal. If I put it in my Thompson's coil, now I better hold on tight, really tight, because when I drop the switch, this thing will be, um, in a way attracted. The induced magnetism in the magnetic domains will align with the magnetism of the Thompson coil and it'll pull this whoosh, right into the middle. So I'm gonna hold on really tight to it, turn it on. I hold it there for a little while and I've encouraged the magnetic domains to align and now when I bring it near the paper clips, it indeed has retained that magnetism. If I drop it, the magnetic domains fall slightly out of alignment. It still picks them up, but it's not as strong of a magnet anymore. If I were to bang on it repeatedly with a hammer, ooh, if I got it really hot, if I held it in a flame and banged on it, I could knock the domains all out of alignment and it would just act like a chunk of metal again and it wouldn't pick up the paper clips. Another way I could knock the domains out of alignment is put it in here and while the Thompson's coil is powered, I can quickly swipe it through the alternating current and scramble the domains, and let's see if that works. Okay, quickly swiping it through the field while it's on, indeed, scrambles the domains, and this no longer acts like a permanent magnet. That make, might make you a little upset, so if you want, I'll put it back, hold it still while it's on, and it's back to a magnet. Fascinating, isn't it?